Hi guys, mabuhay, and welcome back to our YouTube channel, Planting with Pep and Grace. Today, we're going to have an indoor plant. But before that, we would like to thank everybody who subscribed, watch, and liked our YouTube channel. Also, we would like to thank ODC Shirt by John Andre Arzinada. So I'm wearing one of his work today. So please also check our Facebook account, Online Plant Shop, Si Maria Gracia at Ang Lihim na Habdid. Okay? So, today, we have a perfect indoor plants for you. This is called Pilea Candirea Candire, Okay? So, also known as your aluminum plant. So, this is a plant. Okay? So, the aluminum plant is easy going to um, house plant. Ibig sabihin lang nun, madali siyang uh, alagaan, madali siyang palakihin. So, as long as this Pilea Candire ay namimit niya yung kanyang mga requirements na sunlight and water, madali siyang mag-survive at madali siyang um, dumami. Okay? So, the, the, the good thing about this plant also is hindi niya kailangan ng exposure sa araw. So, talagang perfect na perfect siya sa ating loob ng bahay. Pwede rin siya sa opisina. Okay? So, this is the origin of North Africa. Okay? So, if you're going to notice also, ayan, pakita ko sa inyo. So, we have here a leaves or leaves na pakikita natin meron siya mga individual patterns na para siyang mga uh, aluminum-like. So, medyo maganda yung kanyang mga aluminum. And, na, yung, yung kanyang aluminum marks. Tapos, naandyan din yung mga green parts na yan. Okay? So, napakaganda. This is uh, also, um, hindi siya masyadong lumalaki. Okay? Pero, maganda rin siya kasi na, na panlagay sa ating mga, sa ating mga um, desk o sa ating mga tables. Okay? So, so next. Oh, by the way, um, before I forget, nga pala, um, kung kayo ay may mga pets like dogs and cats, huwag niyong palalapitin sa Pilea Candire. Kasi nga, medyo toxic ito. Okay? So, that's just a reminder for you. Okay? Kaya nga, um, if you're living in a condo na hindi inalo ang pets at saka ang dogs, well, that could be a best uh, indoor plants for you. Uh, lalo na sa opisina, mas maganda siya kasi wala naman kayong dogs and cats doon. Except kung kayo, kung kayo ay nagtatrabaho talaga with those animals. Pero pag kinain nila to, well, sorry. Baka sila ay umatay because of the toxic that it contains. Okay, so huwag nyo nang ilalapit sa mga malilit na bata. Baka nguyain nila yung dahon. So, it's really not good also. Okay, so the root system of this one. So, let me check first the root system. Okay. Oh, sorry. I think I have here a perfect root system. Ayan. So, ito. Medyo maganda na yung kanyang stability kasi madami na siyang roots. So, babawasan lang natin ito. So, individually, but actually you could, if you have this kind of, of, of plant na marami na siya, pwede mo na siya i-transplant one by one. That is only for your propagation if you really want to have some propagations. Okay? So, I, have, I think I have this one. A perfect parts of this. Okay. So, yeah, right. So we have those intact roots already. So, what I did here is, um, if you're going to have the root system, na pag dumami na siya, uh, nagiging strong yung kanyang roots, and it could really break the pots that you have. So, maganda siya siguro kung if you're able to provide something na, um, na, na may, ma, may transplant nyo siya sa mas malaking pots once na dumami na yung kanyang root system. Okay? So, what I did is, I choose this one. So, have to remove this. Kung papasin ninyo, yung nagpa-plant dito, medyo hindi yata nag-follow. Okay? So, kasi, ang ginamit niya dito yung soil ay medyo uh, nakaiba. Okay? Uh, clay, clay loam, clay loam soil. At medyo siya ay mata ma nagko-contain ng water. Anyway, it's okay. So, the temperature for this plant is good for 15 to 23 degrees Celsius. Okay? So, in a tropical country like the Philippines, well, I think that is actually a good thing para sa plants na to kasi pwede siyang mabuhay sa atin. Kasi hindi naman tayo nag-range ng 
uh, well of course in some other time nagpo 40 degrees sa tayo pero uh, if you're going to keep this in shaded area so that will be a good uh, habitat for this type of plants okay so next so we have now the light okay ano light requirements nito so the light requirements of this plant actually is less than uh, li uh, at least four hours uh, in direct sunlight okay so um, too much light will certainly burn the green parts of nung kanyang dahon. Okay? So, mag-turn into brown in color yung dahon once na overexposed siya sa araw. Okay? So, let's have now uh, watering. Okay? So, itong watering na to, medyo um, um, medyo marami yung water na nilagay. Okay? So, kaya nagkaklag ngayon yung tubig. Siguro yung yung, may, yung yung nagtatrim nito, wala na siya nakuhang plant, uh, soil mixture. Okay? So, sa so watering, uh, it, mas maganda kung hindi siya nagko-contain ng water. Or medyo ang gagamitin natin dito uh, soil ay yung um, uh, soil medium na past draining din. Okay? Kasi nga kung siya ay nasa North Africa, more or less hindi siya makakakuha doon nang talagang nag-hold ng water sa plants. Okay? So next, so the soil. So uh, we are talking about already the soil. So dapat hindi siya nag, uh, nagko-contain ng soil. So uh, nagko-contain ng water. So I have here, okay? So I have here yung type ng soil na recommended natin. This is actually a, plant, uh, a sandy soil mixture, okay? Na pwedeng mabuhay yung ating plant. By the way, I, I took up some, some pots na meron tayo dito. Medyo malaki siya kasi gusto ko nga siya na magkaroon siya ng maganda uh, healthy roots at paparami pa siya ng mas, ng mas marami. So that will be uh, so that I could be able to propagate it more. Okay? So let's do some I, I would like to pour some of this uh, material sa ating plants uh, sa ating pots. Okay? By the way, I, I have to put some of this also. Nahin ko muna pala to. So, why do I have to put some of these rocks sa loob? Kasi, um, medyo para hindi siya mag-hold ano, mag no? yung water ay diretso sa, sa ilalim. Tapos yung ating mga soil mix ay hindi siya dire-diretso sa mga butas niya. So, I can prepare some of this one. So, nilagyan ko muna siya ng rocks para maging maganda, unstable yung ating maglalagay. Then, I put now this particular soil mix na prepared ko a while ago. This is actually a mixture of humus rocks, uh, loam soil, tapos meron siyang uh, konting uh, fertilizer uh, para doon sa plants. Okay? So, past training. Okay. So, I think. So, hindi ko na muna siya tatanggalin doon. So, to think. So, doon naman, hindi naman siya mag ano ng maraming plants. O maraming uh, water. Okay? Doon sa loob. Okay? I'm going to put now some soil sa side. Okay. So, nakalagay din dito yung sa mas... I think mas effective siguro kung lalagyan natin siya nung uh, mga organic type of fertilizer. Like for example, yung mga dried leaves ng mga uh, ano ba yung, yung mga leguminous type kasi maganda yun para sa nitrogen component ng ating soil. Um, also, yung mga example, uh, kung wala naman tayo nun kasi kung leguminous nga naman ano ba yung pwede natin gamitin? Uh, we have also some of the um, yung ginagamit nating uh, plant material katulad ng munggo so maganda siya doon sa ating uh, plants. Also yung mga ipil-ipil yeah. yung dried, dried na dahon ng ipil-ipil that is actually a better organic fertilizer just to supply the nitrogen needed by the plant. Also yung ating balat ng saging yeah. so that is actually a better or good or nice uh, organic fertilizer na pwede natin makuha sa loob ng ating bahay kung baga. Okay? Medyo may hirapan pa nga tayo sa ipilipil kasi I don't know if there's still available sa 
period natin ngayon. So, so sa passing. Anyway, so we have now this particular plan. So, I will let this particular plan, so if you're going to notice here, kung siya ngayon ay dadami pa, or mag-grow pa siya, o mag-multiply pa yung kanyang dahon, magiging um, marami siyang, ano, mara, uh, lalabas pa siya dun sa ating, sa ating plant. Okay? So, and maganda siyang tingnan, actually, pag nakita niyo yung kanyang sistema. Okay? So, um, so, we're going to look at this one. So, the humidity, the humidity that it needs, actually, pwede naman siguro sa room temperature. Okay? Sa room temperature, Uh, hindi naman masyadong um, humid. Okay. Um, kasi ang problema sa ibang bansa, that's why they are, they, uh, some of the, the, the materials that I, that I look into, yung nakita ko, uh, yung problema nila yung humidity pag winter, summer, and even fall. So, yun ang nagiging problema nila. So, uh, sa Pilipinas, we don't have any problem regarding with that. Kasi nga, we have only wet and dry season and we are using now past draining soil. So, hindi natin kailangan. So, this type of plant is an evergreen. So, all throughout the year, bibigyan ka niya ng magandang, um, magandang uh, plants so magandang mga dahon. Actually, uh, meron siyang flower. In special cases, nagpupudo siya ng flower. Pero, if I were you, and as recommended by other experts, tanggalin yung flower. Kasi why? So, additional kasi siya ng pag excess ng Anang or or um, energy ng plants. So if you don't if you don't have any plant to propagate it by seeds, then I'd rather recommend na tagalin yung flower. Pero if you're trying to have the pollination process and so on and so forth, um, well, I would recommend you na sigur, go on with the flower. Pero uh, if you're planning to keep it na ganito lang, na puro leaves lang, mas maganda kung nagkocasentate lang tayo sa leaves. So how do we propagate this particular plant? So we propagate this plant by um, yung, um, by cuttings. So you can have the cuttings nung ating plant. Okay, I'll give, uh, I will I will uh, show you some some cuttings that I made. Okay, so this one, this one, this is the cuttings that uh, we made. And actually, um, uh, I don't know. Uh, this is actually this one is actually from this plant. This serves already as the mother plant ng cutting. So, if ever na maging malaki siya, dumami naman uli siya, so we could have mas marami, mas maganda. So, marami tayong pwede i-propagate sa plants na ito. Okay? So, um, again, if you're going to look at this one, this is a perfect plant para sa indoor. At mapapansin natin talaga napakaganda niya kung um, ilalagay natin sa indoor plant. Okay? Uh, ilalagay natin sa indoor. Okay? So, um, with that, I think that's all. So, goodbye. Happy planting!